So I've struggled with pressing the record button for quite some time. I've been in a bit of a creative dry spell for a little while and I, and I think maybe I just didn't know how to talk about it or didn't know if I wanted to talk about it. Maybe I didn't want to admit it to myself or to someone else. I don't know. So I'm going to take a whack at it because it's been quite quite some time since I've had some work in my in pursuing my vision. So specifically, I guess acting work right now, but including my bald is beautiful work as well, acting, writing, all of it. So. One of the things, and I've talked to, I have talked to other people about it, and one of the things that, as, as far as my acting goes, that people talked about a lot, or that I, the refrain that I would hear a lot is, you're so talented, and you're, you're amazing and gifted at what you do, you should wear wigs, <laughs> or grow your hair back, you know. So if you, if you had hair, or if you were wearing a wig, you'd be a working actor. And... For a long time, I couldn't quite put my finger on why that line of thinking troubled me so much, like deeply. Um, because yeah, in a way, it's obvious. Yeah, okay, so put on a wig and be a chameleon and, and work. Or use it as a means to an end, get lots of work, and then because I get to bigger roles and eventually I can tell people what I want to do or something, I, I see the logic. But on some other core level, it just did not resonate, does not resonate with me. And I could not quite put my finger on why until recently. And what I discovered as I continued to really mold this over, I mean, I, I really considered it like, okay, well, you know, sometimes changing things up and accomplishing one's dreams and visions requires uh, you know, compromise and flexibility and all that kind of stuff to make those things possible, to open doors and all that. Um, but what really I kept hearing in that statement, in those that refrain of wear wigs or grow your hair back and you be a working actor, was normalize yourself and you'll be successful. Normalize yourself and you'll be rewarded. And that really doesn't feel good. So I haven't done it. And I also haven't worked for a while now. So I've just been grappling with that whole dynamic, really. And the light that I found in it, though, there's a few of them. One is I know I'm being true to myself and true to my vision. And that means everything to me. And also, I think about all of the people, especially in the creative arts, but in all realms of life, the people that I most admire, none of them are people who were normal <laughs> or were considered what would be considered normal. And they're always the people who quote unquote go against the grain and create something new that suddenly is normal, for example, you know? And I. I would like to be on that path. That's that's who I consider myself to be. So if I have to go through a rough patch or two or dry spells, so be it. But and the other thing is it's also really reinforced inside me how passionate I am about what I'm doing and I know it's right. And I know what I'm doing means not only a lot to me, but I I really believe it means a lot to other people. So that keeps me going. 
And uh, a dear woman that I know who I study with, uh, she's a writer and she gave me some great advice. She said, you know, sometimes you need, sometimes when you go through a dry spell, it's kind of like life is hitting the restart button. It's like a reboot. So, I'm in a bald is beautiful reboot. But I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. And so, thanks to everyone out there who in my real life and in my cyber life <laughs> who finds my website and writes to me and the people that I maybe never hear from but maybe have found something positive in what I've put out there that keeps me going so here it is there it is Sharon Blinn bald is beautiful be the change. One of my favorite expressions. And I find that very comforting because that's what I'm doing. And we can all do that. Be the change you want to see in the world. Bald is beautiful. Peace out. Be the change. Be courageous. Be the change.